The giant panda that's sparking an uproar mm. this morning, the animal is said to have faked the pregnancy, <laughs> possibly to receive more food and nicer accommodations. ABC's <laughs> <laughs> Steve Benitez is here. You know, guys, there was a whole live broadcast planned out for the birth, and then it turns out the panda was looking for luxury through a lie. <laughs> People are going to find out. Well, not if we're careful. We usually see people faking pregnancies on soap operas oh, like ready? Desperate Housewives. May I? Oh! And General Hospital. Are you sure you want to shoot an innocent child? You're not pregnant. But this morning, a soap opera is taking place where you might least expect it. At a zoo. China's giant panda, Ai Hin, thought to be pregnant. The Chengdu research base so excited, they revealed she was about to get her own show, starring in the first ever live broadcast of a panda birth. But this morning, zookeepers say, despite showing all the signs of being pregnant, like changes in appetite and hormones, and moving less, she wasn't pregnant after all. Phantom pregnancies are normal in pandas, but they believe Ai Hin might have been faking it to improve her quality of life. Turns out pregnant pandas at the Chengdu base are pampered with single dens complete with air conditioning, 24-7 care, plus extra bamboo, fruit, and snacks. Pandas and other bears don't make it real easy to tell whether or not they're pregnant. We treat her as though she's pregnant, whether she's pseudo-pregnant or actually pregnant. We just want to be ready in either case. A black and white issue with, in this case, obvious shades of gray. Oh. Oh. And you know, she carried on the charade for some two months. Wow. She was rubbing two her months. belly. No, yeah. and, and you'd think that an ultrasound would have worked, yeah. but guess what? Too tiny, you and, can't see and, it. And they're calling her Brie now. Right.